welcome back to my channel so um it's monday and what time is it it's 6 30 canadian time and um, today's public holiday but my staff they are on public holiday as well but um so some people are going to come to the store to just pack others send them out and go back home but they'll come in twos so usually there are four people that work in the store for now until I employ the fifth person Others work remotely and so they'll come, two people will come today and two people will come tomorrow. Then they'll all resume work on Wednesday. And that's because, honestly speaking, if we don't do this like this, they will break down on Wednesday. Even themselves, they want to come because um, usually we don't ship out orders on Sundays. So we ship out orders on Saturdays. So for Monday, the Saturday afternoon and all Sunday orders have accumulated. If they don't come and send them out on Monday, it then means we have an accumulation, a backlog of orders for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days, <laughs> guy, <laughs> guy, which you don't want to know what that would cost, and the comment section on Instagram would just be on fire. So they had to, you know, come to work and send out. Let me even check the camera and see, see what's happening there. Yeah, so that's hap that that's for what's happened in Nigeria. But I'm up this early. First of all, I'm always up this early. But today I have two things on my list before 11 a.m. Firstly, I have to send a marketing strategy to a brand. So there's this brand. It's a Korean brand. We currently stock them, but they reach out to me to be their official reseller. And you know, I sent them my my report and all of that. But my the person that you know, person that's coordinating. Um, that it's in between me and person. Well, my contact person there says that I need to make an official marketing strategy, like presentation. So I'm doing that. I have to do that. I sent out today. No, not today. This morning. Then secondly, I have a meeting with a brand as well. So we currently stock this brand, the US brand, and I honestly don't know what the meeting is about. Let me even check what the meeting is about. I think it's something concerning the future of the brand in Nigeria and just strategy around the brand in Nigeria. Maybe they won't take it more seriously. I, oh, let me even see what it's about. <laughs> let me see what it's about because I honestly have, I honestly have no idea. Sorry, let me see. Okay, learn more about my business and how we can support, how they can support their brand in my store. Okay, yes, yeah, so basically that. And the thing is, I have to prepare for that meeting because I'm not, really, I'm not really invested in that brand at the moment. So I need to go on their website, have a feel of their products, and try to understand where they can come in as it relates to supporting their brand in Nigeria and in my store. I need to prepare because me, like, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't go into meetings unprepared. It doesn't mean like I have to jack all night, but I have to have a sense of what the meeting is about and my contribution. Because if I set a meeting, this is how I think. Maybe this is not how everybody thinks or how they think, but me. If I set a meeting with somebody that I believe to be well informed in a particular field and you are actually not contributing anything, I'll be like, mm, what are you actually doing here? <laughs> Not every time, but you, you get the gist. I can't, I can't just, I can't be caught on fresh. I can't be caught unprepared. So yeah, I'll have to do a bit of background on their brand. So that's what I am, I'm doing this morning. So, uh, also I have these really bad rashes. So you see, even me too, I struggle. Me too, I, exper I experience skincare dilemmas. I'm having these really bad rashes. And usually when I break out with, you know, a reaction, my first, point of call is to get antihistamine because it's usually an allergic reaction so antihistamine curbs that i've been on antihistamine for a while and nothing is happening i've i'm avoiding using cut um, topical steroids to calm inflammation i just i'm just avoiding it but 
apparently when I spoke to some people, some one or two people around here, they said it's very, very normal. Like almost everybody I spoke to experienced it. My husband did, his friends did. So I'm assuming it's a thing that would, a phase that would pass, but it's actually uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. So yeah, let me get to work. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. And they'll see the big picture, like for example, like you see employees are not seeing the picture of let me grow with this organization is grab 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 Okay. But we just want to make it we just don't want to have everybody. So okay. you know, we okay. want to make it strategic. Good morning guys, so it's currently 4.30 Canadian time and honestly speaking, I'm so upset. I have like several things to attend to. Remember I said last time that I was doing, preparing a marketing strategy document sort of for a brand. So I sent it to my contact there. I sent her a WhatsApp message as well. She's Korean. And she told me that, you know, she had left the brand. Anyway, she said that before she even left, that she got wind of the fact that they wanted to give distributorship to another vendor. I'm so upset. So she gave me an email to send to resend my marketing strategy, strategy to. But the thing is that most times eh, when things like this happen and they're already considering some other vendor, you go hard though, because it's not even like I have somebody there again because I've developed a relationship with this with this lady. Also chatting with um, my suppliers in Korea, I need to place an order today, update my order because I had already shopped, placed my order for um, Korea, the things I wanted from Korea, but then I made a post on Instagram telling people that they should let me know what products they're interested in and they sent a bunch of products that we have never even stocked before so I want to try and see if I can order for some of them I can't order for everything because they will cost a lot of money because you see, because of our, our, our customer base when we are ordering for products we don't we can't just order like 12 or, 40 or 24 we order in large quantity like minimum of 100 pieces per item so I've done a list of all the products that you guys want and they're over, over it is something imagine me buying 100 pieces of it is something products so i beg i don't have that kind of money right now because it's the unplanned unplanned purchase so i'll just buy it small 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 maybe i'll buy like i'll introduce like 10 new products then my next i'll see how it goes then i'll just keep introducing like that like that like that so i have to do that i want to try and edit a video today as well also i need to update and also post some tiktok videos ah my dear that is the life this is this your thing just give me headache so basically like what are they saying she's not saying she's not saying she's trying to figure out so i'm thinking what she, she didn't tell she wants to be figured out so just told you what what she what she tell you she told me that she was trying to work with her team to see how they can meet up with our request. Okay. That was Very importantly, I don't want any cutting of corners. I don't want anything that might disrupt my website. Do you understand? Do you get so I want the best possible plugin that directly affects the purchase of product is directly hitting the core of the business in the sense that if we cut corners and get a plugin or get something that doesn't work right, the website is going to come down. Mm -hmm. So when uh, people are come from their abroad, if they see it in dollars, fine, maybe it will start with everything being in dollars. But if you come to Nigeria or whatever, you can change the currency. Are you getting? Yeah. And when you go to check out, that's what I would discuss with you. First of all, I'll send you how it will work. Did you? They now tell me how we can automate that. So. Yeah, don't be angry. <laughs> uh, do you dream about me? <laughs> I don't dream about it. Why well, I dream about you? <laughs> because I'm wondering, you wake up and you be having things to just be sending me messages. <laughs> ideas. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah. thank you, my darling. <laughs> just because I'm the one doing it. Doing it. it. <laughs> 
but if not like, every time that like this is so freaking innovative and it makes so much sense to get like, yeah my love <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I'll be on your coattails. Never invite you for awards. Don't you? Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you invite me. See, I have all these ideas in my head, but they couldn't have come to fruition. It's not for my girl. Um, okay. but, but it's true, really and truly. No, no, for real though. Like really, like if if I didn't have like a reliable like um developer of whom developer call a reliable person. <laughs> 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 I didn't have someone that you know was managing my site and was able to bring those ideas to life. I was just stuck with them in my brain, honestly speaking. <laughs> Literally, true. big eh? So, Very true. and you know the funny thing. Eh? See, look, eh? Like, I, I won't try to find it no jokes though, because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm still not ready for anything. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still not. Biggest compliment you give me. Oh, 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 like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no. You're stuck with me, dear, <laughs> for a long oh, while. <laughs> why, are we, why, why are we doing all this rubbish? I'll be going back. Well, let me, uh, let me, I'll send you how the app thing works and uh, you have in mind. So I call you back when I do that? Yeah, uh, bye bye. Okay, All right, bye bye. Yeah, so just a brief note down about what that call was about. Um, I'm very sure before this vlog goes up, all these things must have been, must have swung into action. Now the first one is we are we've integrated Facebook Shop, a be Instagram e-commerce in our Instagram page. So basically, you can tap the price and it takes to the website however it's important to me that it is automated because how it is done right now you have to manually keep updating the instagram shop so what that means is you have to download something and upload it before the instagram shop gets updated now for a small shop or for a shop that has fixed inventory fixed fixed inventory and you know pricing it's easy to do that but for a shop as dynamic as ours, that the prices are constantly changing based on how, you know, it is sourced. And also we are constantly restocking and, get, and, get, and getting out of stock. We can't afford that. We can't afford a manual system because a product might be out of stock on, on the website and yet it will be in stock in the, on the Instagram store. And I, anything that has to do with manual do it yourself i try to eradicate that because of the number of hands i want them to you know invest their time on more important things like packing orders customer service resolving issues logistics matter all those things are not things that we can actually get an app or automate i try to eradicate all of that so anyway so um the instagram store is shop is on now but i haven't really utilized it or but I've not brought a lot of attention to it because it's important to me that we automate that. So that's what I was talking to Boma now, telling her that whatever the cost, it's an it's a priority for me. Whatever the cost. So yeah, that is what we're talking about.